really. Uh, firstly, what do you make of the event overall? Uh, it's, it's been alright, except for connection issues, which is causing a lot of trouble with um, massive delays. Um, I'd have to say it's been almost disappointing in EGLs. Like this one went down in terms of the like, structure. And with it being online, obviously, instead of like, black ops and flat, it just sort of means there's a lot more constraints. And yeah, as shown by yesterday, um, that's a big factor when you have to wait 14 hours to play one game. Yeah, obviously there was uh, quite a few issues with the local ISP, uh, resulting in a dodgy connection across both days, uh, causing lengthy delays. Um, as you just mentioned, you know, it, you had a lot of waiting around, so uh, how did you feel this affected the performance overall? Steve? Uh, it did affect us a lot. Just, it, the day just dragged on, and I was waiting for a long time because it got behind the schedule, and it just, it just kills you really when you wait for 40 hours to play one game. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to say, the first, it affects us most of the one of right because that's sort of, sort of ultimately what led to our like, demise. Because uh, with it being best of three, as well as like all these different factors playing in, it meant like you can't get any momentum and any motivation as a team when it's like constantly being stopped. And that's quite a big deal, obviously, when it comes to playing in events. Right, right. Um, would you like to see EJ return to Blackpool in the future or perhaps look at new locations? I like large venues like Blackpool and like Dunkra, but. If it was for myself, so for my benefit, obviously, it would be a lot better. But I think they should, I should centralise it more. Yeah, not to go to centralising. As well as that, they need to pick a venue that has suitable like, internet capacity so they're going to do online again, because that was the main factor behind everything being so late. Yeah, so you prefer the uh, larger venues like this over um, smaller ones like at the Emirates? Yeah. It's a bit more split up. Yeah, it is, but you get a better, a better atmosphere when everything's in an open space. I'd love to say that with the Emirates, it's quite different because you get a sort of more ground feel to it. Like being just a big hall, sort of gives it like an underground impression rather than a big occasion. Um, some strong individual performances from the team, but um, disappointing placing overall from a side tip to do well. Uh, how do you both feel about the performances um, individually and as a team? Oh, yeah, we didn't play really well individually, it's just that uh, we. We didn't really pick to the team over the, the lack of playing over the last week. I'd have to say the individual thing is probably better than ever statement because you're obviously only as good as like your, your worst player or your worst, your worst moment. So I say, yeah, the big factor was me being away from the last week, but that's that obviously kind of been helped. And I just say, all in all, it was just, it's just one of the bad days. And I think it's losing in the winning bracket was really what, what led to us. So, um, you know, what does the future hold for the team then? Well, yeah, we're definitely sticking. We're, we're going to just keep trying and hopefully improve our placement and get a good placement at our high series. Well, uh, it's sort of just like an anomalous like, resort or whatever you want to call it because obviously we've got that, like, reams of past experiences in terms of placement. So, <laughs> you're going to have a bad day and every team sort of had that in the past. Like, if you look at the EGL, one of the resorts, so teams like placing top 12, which isn't as bad as what we place, but I think as it's more severe because of the factors that sort of led to it, like there's been fatigued and the internet situations and stuff like that. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see you uh, bounce back at A-Series. So uh, finally, do you have any shout-outs? Yeah, it's TCM and sponsors, CC Online, CM Stone, thank you, Quartermaster and Boyplay. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.